Justice League just finished up its theatrical run. It closed out at $657.9 million, which yeah, sounds like a lot of money, but it's actually the lowest grossing film in the DCEU. It also had the highest production budget of all DC films, so that's not great. So DC and Warner Bros are looking to the future in the hopes that they can turn things around and recreate the success they found with Wonder Woman. That one had a really good ratio of production budget to box office performance. Here's how DC is moving on from Justice League. We'll take a look at all the projects that are definitely happening, and all the projects that they've spoken about and that are possibly maybe happening. There's a lot of those. If you're new to Screen Rant, you can hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay up to date with our new videos. So originally Justice League was supposed to have a part two. Zack Snyder even revealed recently that these three crosses related to that in some way. But it definitely doesn't sound like that movie's gonna happen. At the very least, not anytime soon. What we do know is that we're getting an Aquaman movie this year. That's coming out on December 21st and it's directed by James Wan. Aquaman was one of the things that people seemed to like the most about Justice League. He seemed cool, he had abs, he drank, he said, my man. If they play their cards right, they could have a really badass superhero on their hands and make a bunch of movies. It could be like the Wolverine of the DCEU. And then 17 years from now, we'll get an R-rated old man Aquaman movie where he has to take care of a little girl. That's just a thought. Then about a year from the time of this video release, we're getting a Shazam movie starring Zachary Levi as Shazam. That's currently shooting and it's gonna be different from any of the other movies we've seen in the DCEU. DC movies get criticized for being kind of dark and gloomy, but this is about a kid who can turn into a superhero. It should be lots of fun. After that, in all likelihood, we'll be getting a sequel to Suicide Squad. Even though critics and a lot of fans hated it, it made a lot of money. And things that make a lot of money get sequels. There seems to be a June 14th, 2019 release date listed for an untitled DC film, and we're thinking it might be this one because it's expected to shoot later this year. It also has a new writer and director in Gavin O'Connor, so maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be good. After that, on November 1st, 2019, there's gonna be a sequel to Wonder Woman. That was a critical and financial success for DC, so there's a lot of hype for this one. Apparently, it's gonna take place in the 1980s, which will be interesting. We also know that Kristen Wiig is playing the villain Cheetah, so it'll be interesting to see her in that kind of role. Then, at a certain point, it was announced that a cyborg movie would be coming out in April of 2020. Is that still happening? I don't know. There haven't been any new developments or announcements in a long time. It might be dead. There's also a Green Lantern Corps movie slated for July 24th, 2020. That seems more like a sure thing because David Goyer is attached to write the script. And after that, specific release dates for specific projects aren't really known. There's been talk of a Man of Steel 2, but there aren't any writers or directors attached. There's also a Flash movie that's been through a lot of trouble. Several directors have quit the project, and it's just having a tough time in general. As of now, Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis Daly are directing it. John Francis Daly actually wrote Spider-Man Homecoming, so he's definitely familiar with the youthful superhero thing. The movie's gonna be based on the Flashpoint story from the comics. Another movie that's been through some trouble is The Batman. That was originally gonna be written and directed by Ben Affleck and star Ben Affleck. Now it's gonna be written and directed by Matt Reeves and may or may not star Ben Affleck. The most recent word is that maybe it'll shoot next year. Another movie that's been through some trouble is Batgirl. Joss Whedon was attached to write, direct, and produce, but now he's not doing that anymore. And it's unclear what the status of that project is. If you haven't noticed, unclear status is kind of a common thread here. At a certain point, they announced a Joker and Harley Quinn movie to be directed by Suicide Squad director David Ayer. At another point, there was a Gotham City Sirens movie in the works from Suicide Squad director David Ayer. And apparently David Ayer is now working on Bright 2 for Netflix, so who knows? And there are a couple of villain movies in the works. Joe Manganiello might be getting his own Deathstroke movie after almost being the villain in a solo Batman movie. Dwayne Johnson is probably getting his own Black Adam movie after almost being the villain in the Shazam movie. There's maybe a Justice League Dark movie in the works. Also, very recently it was announced that Anna DuVernay would be directing a new Gods movie, but it doesn't have a release date. And then there's a Joker origin story in the works, maybe starring Joaquin Phoenix and probably not actually part of the DCEU. So to summarize all this, it's not super clear what the future of the DCEU is gonna look like. There are definitely a couple of films coming out in the next couple of years, but it sounds like other than that, they're gonna kind of make it up as they go along. In fact, maybe with so many projects floating around, they might end up moving back to a non-cinematic universe way of doing things. And that might actually be a good thing. Let me know in the comment section what you think of all these projects DC has going. Which ones would you like to see become a reality? Which ones do you think they should just never mind? If you're watching this on Facebook, you can hit that link to jump over to YouTube and subscribe. You can also check out ScreenRant.com for the latest movie and TV news. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.